the way I look at it is that, you know, maybe there's some 10-year-old or 11-year-old in some part of the world that has got one of these or will have one in five or six years or seven years or maybe there's people that are not they're not born yet that they're gonna want to know how to do this and they don't have a father or an older brother or anyone to show them how to do it like I never had and unfortunately that was just the way life worked out and I can't change the past but I sure as fuck can change the future. And my forte is teaching. So I'm going to teach people what I know for as long as I can. And with my 1,600 videos for me and my twin, Rick, nice guy. You probably, you probably haven't met him, but you've probably heard him. We're indistinguishable. So that's why it takes so long on the videos. To do, or um, on the bike to do. Maybe I'm just stalling too. Uh, it's the, the, the longer it takes, the more depressed I get because I, I feel it's never going to get done. It's never going to get done. And then I keep working on it. and well, I'm going to have a big segment on how to put on the other grip right here. I've got some special grip glue that I've never tried and I'm really wary about grip glue because it, uh, you only get one chance and unless you know what the hell you're doing it, it's a mess. So I'll have one wire coming from my pump which will go all the way up to the to the switch here that switch right there and that switch right there will control all of my extra little toys that I put on the bike. Then I have to wire in my turn signal. This is a straight eight, no, it's called a grade eight, grade six, grade three, I don't know what the fuck it's called. Whatever it is, this unit cost me a fortune out of Canada, and this throttle cost me a fortune. But I'll tell you what, first time I bought these products, stage six, that's what it is, whatever the hell that means. These are top of the line products. They cost me money, but they're not cheap crap. It's it's beautifully done work. I'm really impressed. And I was able to mount this so that the only difference between this throttle plate here and the old one is that this sticks out about an inch more. Which is a good thing because the more horsepower you have, you want to have a lot of meat to hang on to. Because if you don't, you're going to fall off and get an extreme case of concrete poisoning, which, let me tell you, it ain't fun. So, I continue, and I, I guarantee you one day this, this will be done. I'm, I'm running out of time because it's getting hot. Once it gets too hot to run, then I don't, don't run it too much. But I've got new Pirelli tires here. And my uh, uh, exhaust has been completely rebuilt. The engine has been completely rebuilt with higher compression. I have a neat little switch here that turns on the gas, which is good. And then I have a fuel filter, right? I don't, worry, I don't know if you can see it right there. That goes into the uh, Race Sudco carburetor, which is worth every $300 I paid for it. Then I have to find a way, and this is going to be another little thing that I'm going to, I'm going to do. I, I really think I am stalling, but what the fuck? I'm old. It's not like I'm going to look forward to anything in life. This is the stage six remote choke dealie for the carburetor. And I'm going to either put it like this and have it come over this way. Or I'll, I'll, I'll find some really cool place to put it where it'll look like it's some kind of a secret uh, weapon or switch or something like that. And everyone go, oh my god. Because remember, there are not that many mopeds in America. 